Hunter x Hunter is an anime full of monstrous characters like Gon, Killua, Kurapika, Hisoka, and more. But despite how many awesome battles these characters had throughout the anime, my favorite Hunter x Hunter character is someone who is basically the comic relief out of the four main characters and has little to no fight scenes with the most popular one him getting obliterated by Hisoka. And of course we're talking about Leorio. One of Leoro's redeeming qualities is his selflessness and his willingness to achieve his dreams. Although at the Hunter exam arc, compared to Gon's goal of meeting his father and Kurapika's goal of avenging his clan and reclaiming their Scarlet Ice back, Leorio at first looked like this self-centered shallow person who only desires money and the businessman attire did not help either. But as the four main characters got closer and him and Kurapika had some heart-to-heart -heart talk while running on a f marathon, he revealed that his friend died out of a curable disease and it could have been avoided if they had the money. This is when he promised to become a doctor but being a doctor requires a lot of money as well so he wants to be a hunter so he could pay for his medical studies. But was Leorio deserving to have a hunter pass in the first place? Probably not. Compared to the other three main characters, he had small contributions and he got carried like your ordinary classmate in a school project full of smart kids. Let's also not forget that this dude took an L just so he could touch a woman. But I respect his selfless goal and his willingness to grab these opportunities no matter how dangerous it is to achieve that goal. What he did is like participating in a deadlier version of Takeshi's castle just to support his medical studies. Some people might say that he might be a bit too selfish about money. But remember that his desire for money stemmed from his upbringing. It was not clearly stated but he definitely grew up in a poor environment meaning he grew up needing money more than anyone else and probably scraped his way up to what we see him today. He's the most realistic and grounded character in this anime. Instead of having these cool anime battles, this guy fought the realistic battle of finding ways to get some money for his education and hopefully he can have his battle of curing the less unfortunate people one day. Speaking of selfishness, I would like to go back to the marathon scene where Leorio and Kurapika are talking about their past because in this particular part, you could see the subtle switch of which of these two is more selfish. When Kurapika thought Leorio was disrespecting his clan or his goals, when he said that money can even buy human lives. Kurapika was initially mad until Leorio told him about his past and his dreams that justified his statement about money. Kurapika was mad because he thought his clan was being mocked, the clan that is connected to his past and his goal of vengeance, a goal he dedicated his whole life to. So this is somewhat all about his revenge for himself. Meanwhile, Leorio wanted to help others because of what happened to him, explaining why he needs money. Although I'm not saying that I'm blaming Kurapika, nor it's not normal for Kurapika to act that way. I mean his clan were f***ing massacred. But if we're gonna compare these two goals and how they acted on the scene, I think we can tell which is more selfless than the other. Leorio initially looked selfish and Kurapika's ambition seemed noble at first. But after Leorio's statement, it was the opposite. And as the episode passed, Leorio turned out to be the purest out of these four. When Gon and Kurapika were in their lowest parts in their lives, they responded with violence and hatred. And although Kilua is kind and selfless as well, and it's not his fault that he was manipulated and raised to kill people, Leorio still wins the best boy award. He went through his lowest part of his life, and he responded with hope, determination, and selflessness. He dreamt of being that doctor that was not there when his friend was in need. So what I'm saying is, Gon vs Hisoka again? Nah man. Leorio vs Incurable Stage 4 Cancer? Now that's an anime battle I would like to see. Another thing that I like about Leorio is his heart of gold. And when I mean having a heart of gold, I mean Leorio's willingness to help and speak out for his friends with no hesitation. We all know that he's way, way behind in terms of power, but he still risks his life and finds a way on how he can help his friends. When Kilua was confronted by Ilumi, Leorio wasn't afraid to badmouth him and tried to wake Kilua up from his senses. This is also the same guy who just yelled on F***ING Krolo! only to cause distraction and send a secret message to Gon and Kilua when they were captured by the spiders. And finally, the iconic scene of Leorio punching Jing out of anger due to his parental negligence. The punch that also represented our anger for terrible fathers in anime. In a world full of overpowered creatures, a guy like Leorio is not afraid to confront them when his friends are in danger. In a world full of deceitful and manipulative people, a guy like Leorio isn't afraid to speak honestly if something's not right. He's no Meruem and he's no Pariston either. 
But because of these two facts, everyone can assure that whenever Leorio does something, it's most likely gonna be with good intentions. We don't need to question his motives. Well, most of them at least. Leorio is my favorite Hunter x Hunter character, not only because he's a good character in an anime, but he's a good character that we could apply in real life. He can be vain and a bit perverted, but he can be selfless, fearless, and righteous when he needs to be. And when he helps someone, although not really in battle, you can clearly see his willingness to help or support that person. And this is why no matter how ridiculously powerful his friends are, he will always be the big brother of the group. The big brother we wish we all had, and someone we should strive to be in real life. So that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell to get notified, and share this video. Follow me on Twitter if you want to. I am Echo Decoder, reminding you that Bungie Gum possesses the properties of both Wowber and Gum. I am out. Thank you.